Blues versus the Hatters. Two sides with contrasting agendas as we reach the latter stage of the season and both in desperate need for a result for different reasons. Luton's journey back to the second tier has been nothing short of a fairy tale and they're looking to write yet another magical chapter in the top flight. Of the two teams. Akamba wrestling possession off of Chong, but Gary Gardner latches onto the loose ball in the midfield and looks to use his legs to beat Nakamba and he's kept the ball in play. Gardner, this is a great run from the centre midfielder. Here is Chong, chops onto the right foot to Heath. Chong deflected Hannibal, couldn't quite make the touch stick in the penalty area. Chong on the periphery of the 18 yard box to keep the move alive. Adebayo leading the charge. He's got Clark left, Morris right. It is Carlton Morris looking to check in on his left foot. No way through. Manny Longello corner kick Luton Town. I think if he drifts it into that near post, um, Hogan's all on his own. It's Hannibal's ball. What so a good boy. See, Hogan never went in. It's a delicious delivery from Hannibal. It's well dealt with by Clark. The ball deflected. Manny Longello picks up the loose ball in the midfield. Djukovic using his body well to turn. Claiming the corner kick. If it runs, Djukovic keeps it alive. Hogan with the header. Drifts wide for the Irishman, but first real chance at goal for Scott Hogan. Yeah. Left foot or right foot. Looks like it'll be the left foot of Tahith Chong. It's dealt with by Morris. Collam back into the thick of things. Djukovic looking to keep it alive, and there's Long as well. But he's lost out to Doherty, and now Clark, left hand side of the penalty area. Harley D for company, he's past him. Clark prods in towards the penalty area, steered away by Blues. Yeah, best opening, wasn't it, of the game, probably. And that, that time, Clark did get on the ball, did show what he's capable of. Fortunately, there weren't a, a white shirt in the middle of the box to put it home. Dolty. Moss arriving and Morris turns home. Lift off for Luton. Carlton Morris puts the Hatters ahead. Bakuna and Chong standing over this. Left foot of Chong or right foot of Bakuna. It looks like it will be Bakuna to strike. Headed towards goal and it's a bit of a scramble. Still no one taking control of the situation and Luton Town can come away with it. Agonising for Blues. Oh, that's a mass scramble, isn't it? More than one or two opportunities you feel to have a, a launch at that and put it in. Good ball in from Bakuna there. Testing ball, headed down by Long. And then suddenly everybody's scrambling. Roberts is in there two or three times. Roberts just wouldn't drop. Yeah, just wouldn't sit up agonisingly for Blues. Brilliant ball from Bakuna. It was Long with the initial header. Djukovic went in, Hogan was there, and as you say, it was Mark Roberts who was just trying to make the ball sit up for him. Looking to drop one in behind the Luton Town defence for Djukovic to give chase. Chong, left footed delivery, Hogan looking to benefit off the crossbar! Collan up there as well for Blues, and it drops into the arms of the goalkeeper, agonising for Birmingham, the closest they have come to an equaliser, Scott Hogan clattering the crossbar. Uh, couldn't do much more with it, he's really strong, well... Drilled in ball there, plenty of whip, plenty of curl, he gets up, he heads it and unfortunately comes back off the bar, but he did everything he could to get there. On their way back into this game, Chong driving down the right-hand side, leading the charge to Heath Chong! It's agonisingly across the face of goal with Lukas Djukovic arriving at the back post. Definitely a momentum change, haven't they? We picked it straight after the, uh, the substitution of Molly. They were knocking about with some confidence. Woodrow goes from distance, almost caught out Ruddy and had to scramble back to his goal line. Long down the touchline, flick forward. Hogan looking to get on the end of it, just slips at the vital moment. Scott Hogan, and it's more up than out from Luton Town. Kind of Sunday afternoon up, didn't he? Broke nicely and he slipped over the Scotty Hogan. But, uh... And there is the, uh, the full-time whistle. Luton have hung on, the Hatters have hung on. So the Hatters' hopes of... The playoffs are kept very much alive with three points. As for Blues, they're left ruining missed opportunities. They've lost here to Luton Town at St Andrews. Birmingham City nil, Luton Town won.